Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. By the names I'm called Derek. I'm a photographer from Handsome Media. So you can call me Handsome if you want. Uh, today there is something I want to share with you in, in a few minutes. Uh, many people have always asked me, why are your images always sharp when you post them on Facebook, Instagram? and that they don't lose the resolution uh, here is a very small tip as to why I, my images are always very sharp when you are uh, going to crop your image or save your image for for the web uh, we have some small tweaks that we always do uh, first and foremost uh, you must always crop your work at least by four inches Four inches by what? By five. Yeah, four inches by five. So four inches by five uh, is a standard size for YouTube, Facebook, uh, and perhaps Twitter. That allows the image to be posted without being cropped. So when you post with a different dimension, in most cases, you want it or not, your image Facebook is going to crop that image to that that the standard size that is to, to, to their standard size that is always either square one by one or four by five inches so and by cropping that means you're going to lose the resolution so you always try your best not uh or to always crop at five by seven so sorry sorry at five four by five or five by four any of the two four by five or five by four so we are done cropping this image and actually i'm done editing it as you can see and uh, the lady looks very gorgeous and beautiful so what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to save it and how do i save it when we save this image we save for web we save for the internet so we save for web and i have a number of ways on how to do this first and foremost i'm going to show you the length way you shall come here to file then you come to When you put on file, you shall come to, you shall go to export. Hope everyone can see here. You shall go to export and come to save for web. Click this. So when we are on save for web, it's going to load. Uh, make sure, uh, first and foremost, the colors are review, reviewed then in most cases quality is always 100 it should be at jpeg jpeg then from there the size the maximum size should be sorry the quality should be maximum then uh, you shall come down here you make sure that you tick on convert to srgb srgb are the colors our normal eyes can see very well we have different colors like CMYK that is mostly used for printing and uh, in a bigger uh, uh, large format printing and uh, maybe when you're editing works in Illustrator but when we are going to save our work for our normal eyes to see you must always uh, a tick on sRGB so the colors are going to be converted to sRGB then from there just come here and click uh, so on here quality, we have different types of quality. Bicub we shall leave it at a big cubic smoother. Then click on save. And we look for the folder and load and save. As simple as as that. I thank you for watching. Um, you can kindly subscribe for, on my YouTube channel. As I will keep on adding you more, 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 more simple uh, Photoshop basics. Uh, bye for now. You can kindly share and, uh, and comment on my video. Thank you.